All right, so we're going to cover now two point perspective. We covered one point perspective, which is great because you have one vanishing line or one vanishing point for your lines to go to. This is where you have two vanishing points on your horizon line. So draw that horizon line and pick your two points. You want them to be pretty far apart. And then I'm going to show you what happens when you make your vertical line that goes above and below the horizon line. So note that my vertical line went up and down in that horizon line. I'm connecting the corners of that line to the corners of the vanishing points. Okay. And then I make a vertical line and a vertical line to indicate the end of my square, the back edge of my cube. It looks kind of like a building if you're looking through, you know, it ex it's extreme force perspective. It's almost like looking through a fisheye lens. I don't know if any of you also grew up watching sweet 90s skateboard videos, but lots of good fisheye lenses in that time period. But yeah, that's kind of like a warped example of perspective. You probably wouldn't want to draw that way. Um, what you want to try doing is um two point perspective where and we'll again draw the horizontal the hor <laughs> horizon line and pick your two vanishing points okay we're not going above we're going below you can do both but we're going to go below that horizon line i made two points that's where my vertical line is going to be so I'm doing a vertical line. It's a little bit different than the last video, but all roads lead to Rome. So you get that nice vertical line. That represents the corner of your box, okay? And those uh, bottom corner and top corner of that vertical line are going to recede into the distance to meet that vanishing point. So you bring that vanishing point line to that box, that vanishing point to the edge of the other box, ta-da, and then you make vertical lines that match up with the corner of the vertical line, and you get a box. So you're making those back edges. And it's like being able to see from a bird's eye view, almost being able to look down on the top of this little building. And I draw doors and windows just as like a way of situating this into the real world. It just helps, I think, as a visual tool. All right. Now you can draw your own. And then I will draw from the bottom looking down. I'm sorry, bottom looking up <laughs> to a box that's floating in the sky. Maybe it's an alien spaceship that looks exactly like one of our buildings. So I got that vertical line connected to my perspective lines. And if you've done this before and you do it slightly differently, that's totally fine. As long as you're getting the basic fundamentals down you know it's everything is connecting back to those vanishing points and note it's it's all about looking at where the edges are and where your horizontal lines are where your vertical lines are and where your diagonal lines are so I would just recommend experimenting with this as much as possible. Just getting used to it is going to be super beneficial for your future artworks. And if you've done this before, again, it's just really good to practice. And right here, I'm actually using my ruler to do a little bit more definitive of boundary lines for a little garage door in this weird spaceship. Okay. And I'm using that vertical or the vanishing point to make that diagonal line 
for where the door is. So it lines up properly with the roof of this house. And then the vertical lines will line up with the corner vertical line. And there you go. You have your house in the sky. Okay, have fun.